From having multiple shots of feet in his movies to even putting one in his mouth, fans have noticed Quentin Tarantino's strange fetish. And it's about time he stepped forward to explain himself. Here's everything we know. Now, it's clear that the famous director has a foot fetish. How do I know this? See, every one of Tarantino's movies has a unique touch, whether it's the style of the dialogue or the cinematography. But if you look closely, you'll notice that all of the director's films have shots of feet. Cinephiles have been scratching their heads over this one for a while. There's no way their favorite Oscar-winning director can have a foot fetish. Well, Tarantino has kind of admitted it, so I suggest you get on with it. And while we're on the subject, let's get another thing out of the way. No diehard Quentin fan can argue that these shots were needed for the story. These scenes serve no purpose most of the time, making it obvious that they were only added because someone wanted to. It's just another aspect of his filmmaking. Don't believe me? Well, why don't you go watch Pulp Fiction right now? Uma Thurman's feet grace the screen a couple of times. And let's not forget the foot massage scene between Vincent Vega and Jules Winfield. All right, I can use a foot massage myself. Yo, 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 man, you best back off. I'm getting a little pissed here. <laughs> Both Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 gave us a fair share of feet shots. And then there was Death Proof, which made a lot of folks uncomfortable. Quentin had Mike McKay licking Abernathy Ross's feet. Do without you, I don't want no and let's not forget that he chopped up Jungle Julia's legs in this one. Tarantino's foot fetish also made it to Jackie Brown. I honestly can't complain about this one. Bridget Fonda was rocking that ankle jewelry. I think that was a step up for him. Then there was Inglorious Bastards. There was a scene where Hans Landa confirmed that the shoe he found at the tavern was Bridget Von Hammer's marks. who had one foot in the cast at the moment, but you could still catch her toes popping out. This is also one of those rare moments where you could argue that the feet were essential to the storyline. But remember, rare. Moving on, Django Unchained and The Hateful Eight haven't been spared either. But it's Tarantino's latest that really got the streets buzzing again. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood had a lot of feet shots. We got to see Margaret Qualley. Eight westerns at the ranch back in the old timey days and Margot Robbie in all their glory. Lucky for Tarantino, Margot's character Sharon Tate loved being barefoot all the time. Half a bottle is better than none. which was like winning the lottery for the famed director. The bare feet thing only helped establish Margot's character as a hippie. Interestingly, Quentin's foot fetish also made it to movies where he wasn't pulling the strings. Remember from Dusk Till Dawn? Well, he didn't direct it, but he did co-write it with Robert Rodriguez, and he starred in it as well. And boy, did he get into it. He had a scene with Santonico Pandemonium, played by Selma Hayek, where she put her foot in his mouth. Yikes. At least Tarantino had a good day at work that day. Now, there's one Quentin movie that doesn't have any foot scene. I'm talking about Reservoir Dogs. What happens if the manager won't give you the diamonds? But let's be real here. It's an all-male cast movie. I don't think Tarantino has an obsession with men's feet. With so much evidence stacked against him, it's only natural that the Academy Award winner has been popped the question about his foot fetish a couple of times now. Well, lucky for us, he answered those questions in his recent interview with GQ. And apparently, Quentin doesn't take it seriously. He said that there are a lot of feet in a lot of good director's movies. To him, it's just good direction. Before him, him, there is Luis Bunel, then Hitchcock, and Sofia Coppola. All these directors have been accused of foot fetishism. You can actually find papers on foot fetishism in Luis's work. Clearly, Quentin gets his inspiration from somewhere. But one has to ask, are the people working with him okay with the whole thing? Well, they are, and they're also not. It's only natural that some actors would be freaked out by the foot fetish. Margaret Qualley is one such person. Her character had to put her dirty feet up on the dashboard of a car in Tarantino's latest work. And she wasn't exactly thrilled about it. In an interview with IndieWire, the 28-year-old revealed that at first, she wasn't totally on board with the idea. Um, Is he really driving the car when you have the feet on the window? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they shut down I-10 kind of in a really busy 
part. Um. In fact, she thought it was a bad idea. And no, it was not because she was creeped out, but because the young actress thought she didn't have good feet. Well, that makes two of us. Margaret said that she was in pointed shoes for far too long to have toes that could be shown to the world. Looks like third time's a charm. Mmm, how are those pickles? In fact, Margaret was so adamant about it that she ended up debating it with Brad Pitt and Quentin, but the guys thought that they were fine. And eventually, they were somehow able to convince Margaret to do the scene. Seriously, we had a lot of discussions about whether, you know, whether to play through this sort of cowardly lion. In hindsight, it turned out to be a good move on her part because now she has newfound confidence in her feet. Quali thinks that she can actually let go of the shame because of her feet now. While Margaret may have struggled to come to terms with Tarantino's foot fetish, other actors seem to get along with it just fine. Margaret's co-star, Brad, was rather cheeky about it when he won the Supporting Actor Award at the Screen Actors Guild Awards in 2020. Quali's feet, Dakota Fanning's feet, Seriously, Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. The Bullet Train actor said, I want to thank my co-stars, Leo, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie's feet, Margaret Qualley's feet, Dakota Fanning's feet. Seriously, Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. Well, he's not wrong there. Speaking of Margot, she shared her character's enthusiasm to walk around barefoot, and she's not the only one. Remember Uma Thurman? Yeah. Well, she let the 59-year-old drink champagne out of her shoe at an event back in 2019. But you do have to admit one thing, Tarantino is not obsessed with portraying good feet, he takes them as they come. The weird shots are only there to spark conversation, and that they do. At the end of the day, it seems like a harmless fetish. But is all of Quentin's filmography harmless? Well, I wouldn't say yes so fast. The director has done some great things for cinema, but if there's one thing he needs to improve, it's how he treats female actors. You'll notice a recurring theme in all of his films. The lead actress is murdered, beaten up, or worse. Not to mention that he kind of forgets boundaries sometimes on set. Uma Thurman reported that the American director assaulted her on the set of Kill Bill. He forced her to do a car crash scene even though she didn't want to. And in the end, Thurman ended up with a concussion and permanent knee damage. There's a lot of other places that decisions get made and, and how things happen. And with, with Quentin, it pretty much begins, goes, and ends with him. If you thought that was bad, wait till you find out more. Apparently, he was the one who spit in her face. And no, Quentin was not the one who was supposed to do it. It was supposed to be Michael Madsen. Looks like he went out of his way to grab that role. And oh, did you know that he choked her with a chain? You might not have noticed, considering there was a teenager doing it on screen. Now, Tarantino needs to understand that we can look past the foot fetish, but this? But this is unacceptable, and he needs to learn when to stop pushing limits, even if it's for the sake of the creative process. And that's all the deets I had about Quentin Tarantino's strange fetish.